presentation of HBO Sports. Previously on 24-7. In Pittsburgh, the Penguins continued their tour of December with a win over Florida. With Sidney Crosby maintaining his remarkable point streak along the way. In Washington, the Capitals began to gain momentum of their own. Stirring their fans for the showdown that approached. Two nights later, the Pens arrived in D.C. for a matchup both teams were advancing towards intently. We're going to fucking go after these guys as much as we can here. This is a big game for us. Let's go out and take it. They need us to turn the puck over or mismanage the puck. It's our game here. The action that ensued hardly lacked for an edge. Fuck off! Fuck this shit! Are you fucking kidding me? Come on! And the result couldn't have been closer with a seven-round shootout needed to determine a victor. One-on-one -on -one against Fleury. He comes to the goal. Green. Head save. Oh, and he shoots and scores! Pasco to Queen wins it for the Penguins in the shootout. But just as round one concluded, the stage for a classic battle outdoors was rising in Pittsburgh. Even when you only have eight days to build it, there's just no place for any traces of green alongside a hockey rink. Which means at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, the turf is being painted white. Sure to be a much better fit on New Year's Day at the NHL Winter Classic. In the middle of the field, construction of the rink has been ongoing since December 23rd. An ambitious pace that's required ample manpower. We had over 65 people working here and they did uh, 12 hours and some did 14 hour shifts. They leave and then you bring in another 40 right behind them and they pull another 10 hour shift. So, I mean, it was continuous work for over 48 hours. Creating an outdoor rink that can withstand a variety of weather conditions is serious business. The man in charge of the ice is Dan Craig. People will think that we just go out there with a big fire hose and just lay down a thousand gallons of water. Well, we don't. It's 10,000 gallons of water for an inch of ice and we spray it on one layer at a time. So it will be a hundred times at least for every inch of ice that's out there. Don Renzulli controls everything on game day, except of course for the weather. And ominously, the early week forecast for New Year's calls for showers. We've got forecasts coming in twice a day. Uh, I'm watching every service that I can online. A lot of them are different at this point, but the weather changes here pretty quickly. Um, we've gone through this for four years. We've had the same discussions. Luckily, we've, you know, come game day, we've, we've been able to play the game. Extensive rain could create unsafe playing conditions for the game. For now, the only thing to do is hope and continue to prepare. The excitement builds for an event everyone in hockey is anticipating. Most of all, the players themselves. The older guys that have played in the league that have passed on and retired, they never got an opportunity to play in this game. And, and I think us as players are very fortunate. Being from, from Quebec, from Montreal, you play outdoor hockey, pond hockey, it's uh, going to bring back, bring back some, uh, some memories. The Winter Classic is a special game, only if you win it. I think that's going to be the lasting memory. To play in it is one thing, but the result, with a win, it, it could make it an amazing memory. Weather permitting, the Winter Classic is four days away. Welcome, everybody, to the Consol Energy Center. Tonight, the Penguins at home against the Atlanta Thrashers. And the Pens coming off a loss at the hands of the Ottawa Senators, still a rank number one in the Eastern Conference.
Tuesday night in Pittsburgh. The Pens still have two games to play before meeting the Caps on Saturday. And with the Thrashers in town, the jubilance seems contagious in the Consal Energy Center, with fans primed and ready for the national spotlight. Goes across me. He shoots and scores. Slap me, silly Sydney. Sidney Crosby's first period goal extends his point streak to 25 games, the longest such run in the NHL in 18 years. Go, 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 go. What's the defense going to the goal? He shoots and scores with a little flip shot. Sidney Crosby doing the magical things that he does. Among the 18,000 in attendance tonight, Penguins co-owner and chairman, Mario Lemieux, taking in the action high above the ice. Also in attendance in the team's family suite, a group of players' wives and children off from school on Christmas vacation. The test who just would not be denied. By game's end, Crosby will have two goals and two assists. But it's teammate Matt Cook who will earn the shovel in the locker room. Thanks to a two-point night and all-around hard play. Sit black, just sit black. Yeah, we're boys. That's it. It's good to come out in the second period and play the right way after not having a very good first. We all knew it. And Took ownership of it and uh, found a way to win. Yeah. After his acceptance speech, Cook finds his son Jackson and daughter Reese in the family suite, excited to greet their dad, the hero. You look awesome, dude. From there, the Cooks return to the locker room, with the pens forward eager to show off his son's new custom-tailored suit to his teammates. Oh my God, Jackson. I think I've seen that suit somewhere today. Hey, I got the same size on. Like son, like father. Oh my goodness. You're matching. <laughs> You're pretty size. nice. Yeah, same tie, same suit. Uh, same shoes. You had a man. Ooh, that's class, man. Yeah, he's gonna be home tomorrow night. I just play tomorrow and then I'm coming home right after. Because I, then we gotta get ready for the winter classic. Bye. As his family heads home, Cook is headed to New York. Love you. Another game awaits tomorrow night against the Islanders. In Washington, Tuesday night, the Capitals host the Montreal Canadiens, with the Caps skating for vengeance against the team that eliminated them from the Stanley Cup playoffs a season ago. Ovechkin makes a break for him. Alex Ovechkin, heavy net waiting. Bullseye! Alex Ovechkin's empty net goal tops off the 3-0 shutout for Semyon Varlamov. The surging Capitals' fourth win in their last five games. Hey, boys. Uh... Really solid defensively here. You know, you give up a couple chances, but you're gonna against every team. But you competed your ass off, everybody here. Um, tomorrow we're one o'clock at Chevy Chase. Okay, it's an outdoor practice here. They're not bringing anything to the rink down there. Okay, they're just bringing the equipment. So there's nothing there except your equipment. So don't expect to go to Chevy Chase and find out a lot of the shit that's uh, around here. So uh, good job, one o'clock tomorrow, let's go. In a park just off the Potomac River in Maryland, there's a spot the locals will send you if you're looking for an outdoor hockey game. It's the kind of place a kid learns how to play the sport, and then how to be consumed by it. I grew up on the outdoor pond in the northeast Calgary there. We have a dry pond, and uh, they flood it. You know, there's hundreds of kids out there, and you just pick a spot on the, put two, two gloves down for nets, and, and you play for hours, so. 
I, uh, I definitely have a lot of memories growing up on the pond. A lot of us grew up on outside ice, playing with our friends, and it wasn't so much practicing games outside as it was just playing, having fun. You look back at it now, and it probably was practice. That's where you honed your skills. That's where you, you learned how to skate. You learned how to stick handle, shoot the puck, and really learning to love the game. As tempting as it might be to head to an open park, the Capitals hold their Wednesday practice at the rink at the nearby Chevy Chase Club, getting a quick reminder beforehand of some of the nuisances of playing outside. There's a glare off that ice. It would be a good time to experiment using the eye black that the baseball players use under their eyes. Brock has got the stuff if you need it. Let's uh, try it and get ready and help. I'm going to do the regulars. As ever in the locker room, there are the traditionalists <laughs> and more imaginative types. Erski's sure. doing LV. You can't have Louis Vuitton underneath that. Bruce is going to kill me. The practice is held in front of a few hundred fans, though Bruce Boudreau is hardly the sort to temper himself for a crowd. Come on, you shit bums, do it right! Hey! Hot dog and a cruise light, please! That's that good stick! Out of my news! So light, so fuzzy! Go! Go! Go, go! The cold air feels good. They'll get another dose of it on Friday. At practice at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. <laughs> The Penguins find themselves on Long Island Wednesday, playing their final game before the Classic against one of the teams at the bottom of the Atlantic Division, the New York Islanders. The game looks to be an easy mark for the team's 10th win of the month, and a sure bet for their captain to extend his point streak. Hockey, things often don't go according to plan. And that's it. Sidney Crosby's streak has ended at 25 games. And what a streak it was. He has compiled 26 goals and 24 assists over the streak. But tonight, for the first time since November 3rd, Sidney Crosby is held pointless. Meanwhile, the Pens fall to the struggling Islanders in a shootout. Not exactly the evening they had in mind. When the time's ticking down in a game like this, you know, you're not really thinking about it, but it was fun to be a part of, but um, doesn't uh, make it any easier. You know, I would like to keep it going. The next day at home, the team is given the day off to recuperate after back-to-back -back games. One player, though, does take to the ice. I'm gonna close you off here. Either fight through it or spin off me and go back to the net. Shoot, score, and then we'll do, uh, do three of those. Jordan Stahl has been practicing with the team for the past four days. And today, Coach Bilesma and General Manager Ray Shiro are trying to determine if he is ready to make his season debut in the Winter Classic. Nice. It's amazing how fast he gets our heart rate up. Great job, Stolze. If it were up to Stahl, of course he'd play on Saturday, the biggest game of the regular season. Oh, there he is. But it won't be his decision to make. If this was a game in Buffalo on Saturday, would this be the game he's targeting to get back at? If you miss another game or three games, whatever, it doesn't matter because in the bigger picture, we want to make sure you make the right decision and we're happy to get you back whenever. You know, when you play, you're going to be play, you're going to be used PK, and, and that's the plan. It's not play eight minutes of ice time and, you know, see how it, it goes. So, so you're going to be a good what player. What are you worried about then? What, what am I worried about? about? And just your confidence level going, being able to go out there. With what? 
your hand. And no decision yet, but everything's good. All right, guys, Jordan, have a good day. We'll see you later. So, what the fuck happened last night? Come on, Dan. You don't have to show that. All right, the countdown to the Winter Classic is on from the last minute preparations to a possible weather delay. Our team By Thursday afternoon in Pittsburgh, meteorology has moved squarely into the spotlight, with Mother Nature's plans appearing all the more menacing. Winter Classic forecast, 52 first period, rain likely the first two periods. This is the one time we can actually uh, not be wrong because everybody's paying attention for the first time in my career. Nobody cared for 17 years, now all of a sudden everybody's like, you know, you better be right or better be wrong. In Washington, it's sunny on Thursday as the Capitals hold their final practice before heading out of town. The team has been playing its best hockey of the month, but there is dissatisfaction with a crucial area of the attack. You know, I'm, I'm sitting there going, okay, Bruce, you're fucking everything up on the power play. You're changing things, you're talk changing lines, you're changing this, and then I watch the power play, and I get so upset. We're not doing fucking anything like we're supposed to. Nothing. We led the league the last two years because we did it, and the saying was we did it five guys as, as a group now we're doing it, everybody's doing it themselves. And so practice will focus on fine-tuning the man advantage. Hey, this has a 10 power play, guys, 5 on 0 right here. The shit bums down there, okay? As soon as you get it, Alex is coming here. You're driving to the net. Help him, help him! Move! Fuck him getting pissed. Sir, when you get it, now you're by the guy. You come, somebody's gonna come out to you. If nobody comes out to you, you shoot it. If somebody comes out to you, Alex is dropped off. Now come wide, come wide, now, now you go. That's a good shot. Everybody out. It's all about work. You work hard in the power play or outwork the penalty killers, and you're going to have success. OK? But listen, we've got a good thing going here. Let's make sure we continue it. We're not going to do a skate today. Let's just get to fucking Pittsburgh and see what happens. Let's go. The flight to Pittsburgh is less than an hour. Appropriately, the first thing that greets the caps on the ground is the open air. Friday morning, the Penguins arrive at Heinz Field for a practice on the outdoor ice. And in the home locker room, Pascal Dupuis finds an item the Steelers left behind. Wait, you have a small head. You look like the water boy. Yes. <laughs> it fits me well, yeah. I'm going to wear it for practice. Shoot out, flower! Shoot out. 
As practice winds down, Bilesma announces the day will end with a shootout contest. The player who fails to score on Marc-Andre Fleury will have to climb to the very top of the Heinz Field stands. Oh, not bad. That wasn't very creative, Betty. Yep. Oh my god, you guys took it out once in a while. Yep, that's one more. Oh, you fucking fuck face. Come down here, you bastard. That's right. Oh, that quick leg. Unbelievable. Don't even think about it. There's nothing there. Oh, you fuck face again, eh? Fuck, I gotta make you run all the way up there. All the way up there. Oh! Oh my god, you're going up there, you're going up. Watch it. Yeah. Fucking run it. The loser is Jordan Stone. Cruel fate for a player whose status for the game still won't be determined until tomorrow. If you go through the underneath the clock, you go out there, there's stairs over there that'll get you straight up. Obviously, we're not skating tomorrow morning if the game's at 1 o'clock, and we don't know if it's pushed back or not, so we want to have a practice, get used to the boards and everything out here. So the other thing you'll have to learn, is, as I think, is what Dino was telling me, the ice is softer, and it's stickier. So you have to pass. There's no such thing as soft passes. It's got to be hard pa passes and quick passes all day, and if we do that, again, um, it's something to get used to this morning. After the Pens leave the stadium, the Capitals take to the Heinz Field ice with a simple goal. They get acclimated to the rink's assortment of uncooperative attributes. Okay, let's go! Let's figure it out! Let's go! Oh. Oh. Fuck you, newbie. Hard passes. No fucking sauce passes. We'll see what the ice is like tomorrow. Today was a little soft. The sun was on it. The penguins are on before we were. It feels a little bit like we're skating in quicksand out here. It's a little heavy, but uh, you know, once the adrenaline's going tomorrow, I think it'll be a different story. I don't want to do too much of it. Don't go over here. Ice is all right. Average. You know, they had games and practices and people around it all day. I think we kind of got the last sheet, I think, of the day. But it was, it was good enough. It's good for my game. Fuck, when Ovi takes a stride, fuck. OK, switch it up. Here's the deal. Is 90% sure that it's going to be an 8 o'clock game tomorrow. If it's an 8 o'clock game, and we'll know by 5 o'clock, We'll be ready. This is an exciting event, but it's two fucking points that we're going to take off these pricks here. Let's go. Hey, Let's go. Hey, the Caps depart still waiting on a final decision about the weather. But underneath the stands, NHL officials are indeed well on their way to moving the puck drop from afternoon to evening. Hello. Coley? Yep. Looks like we're going to announce we're going at 8. Uh, if anything, the front has slowed down a little bit, so uh, according to Jim, there's there's no way we get the game in at 1. We're not going to get the game in at 5, so our best chance is to go at 8. Okay. Okay, so we'll issue a statement, Coley, at 5. So if you can get to the GMs before 5, that'd be good? Yep. Anything else? Thanks. Thanks, Coley. Yep, thanks, Bill. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right. Prime time. At their team hotel a few hours later, the Capitals ring in the new year ahead of time. With a modest celebration for everyone who made the trip in with the club.
this is it for us. Uh, dinner and the Diet Coke, and then I'm sure a lot of us players will head upstairs and everybody else will go and have some fun. So. The party ends well before 12, and the Capitals are left to grapple with a good night's rest on their own. I think we're just going to relax a little bit and then try and get to bed, settle these kids down. That'll take a while. Their big goal is to make it to midnight, which I don't think they will. All right, good night, guys. The Pittsburgh sky is lit afire as one year passes into another. The Steel City annually commemorates New Year's Eve with a celebration downtown. With anticipation on this night, not just for the new year, but for the hockey spectacular now set for tomorrow night across the river. At 10 a.m. the next morning, the Penguins hold a skate at their arena, added to their schedule with the game pushed back. And just off the ice, the New Year's first piece of good news is revealed. Ready to go? Yep. All right. I, you're, you're in for sure. You're playing, on my lineup card, you're playing in center between Gino and Cookie. Very nice. Yesterday, he called and, and you know, it was 100% confident. I'm 100% confident. I'm ready to play and and, and uh, want to play in this game. Welcome back, Selzy. Just after sunset at 5 p.m., the Penguins get a police escort across the Roberto Clemente Bridge to the stadium. Capitals follow the same course. If it's a night unlike any other this season, routines must be maintained as always. Did you switch it? Routines that start with seasoned veterans queuing up familiar anthems in the locker room. Oh, great. Fuck this shit's work, Tim. Two worlds collide, rival nations. It's a primitive. Okay, boys, we've waited a long time for this. Let's make the best of it here, okay? When we get a chance, if you've got odd man breaks or something, let's fucking shoot the puck rather than trying to make a fancy play right now. Keys to our game here tonight. It's going to be an emotional setting. It's going to feel a bit like a playoff game. Ovechkin's probably going to hit someone. All right, we're not taking a penalty on him. Let him run around. All right, react with the puck. React to the way we play. Play the way we can. We do that. This guy here has every belief that you're the best team in the league. And we'll do it, we'll do it again and prove it again tonight. And it's gonna start right off. Steck's your line. Oh, Carl, oh, Aldi, shit, let's go, let's go. Sid, you ready to go? You should be, because you're starting. They are going with 39, 83, 26, 27, 74, and Varlamov in net. We are going with 14. Oh. 87, no. 71, no. 44, no. 58. No. Flower, you're in the cage here, gentlemen. Let's go, Todd. So blue, let's go. Fucking go, boys. Come on. Heinz 
Field in Pittsburgh where usually those terrible towels are waved in support of the Steelers. Tonight, they'll be cheering on the Penguins as they skate against the Capitals. Years from now, a glance at the record books may well indicate it was just another game in a long season. A glance across Heinz Field, however, emphatically indicates otherwise. in Pittsburgh. Let's go! Oh, fuck it up, boys! Come on! This is the way we like it, nice and wet. Here we go, boy. here we go, boy. Good job, good job, boy. Out of boys, hey. In front of more than 68,000 at Heinz Field, the 51 degree temperatures at face-off mean the ice is, as feared, soft and sticky. Neither team, however, holds back in the hunt for an early edge. All night long, baby, all night long. Obi! You can hit all night, don't leave your feet. You left your feet, okay? Go, 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 go! Another train oh. off the pipe! Go, Saldi! Bend those fucking knees, kid! Jordan Stahl makes his debut on the game's second shift and shows little rust from his long layoff. Good shift, good shift! Fuck off! Hey! Hey, Jack! The Caps earn their first power play four minutes in. The yield is negligible. Shot, boys! Fuck! Shoot it out there! Go, 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 go! Stop. Shoot the puck. Shoot the puck. Obi, you get a chance to shoot from the middle. I want shot. That's it. We're doing too much passing, boys! This one here is Sidney Crosby. All down by Mike Green. Penalty, not penalty shot. Fucking penalty shot! Out there. Oh, you chicken shit! Fucking put it out there! Great, I give you a power play, and you gotta fucking give me attitude. That's the way it's Yeah, because I watch fucking 80 games this year on TV, and that's a penalty shot every time. By the way, that was a fucking hook on the way in, too. Halfway through the period, frustration is still augmenting. Fuck you, cookie, you motherfucker! Hey, hey, hey. Fuck. It's going tough. Okay, let's go. Tough. Let's go. Tough. Tough. Right here. Right. Both of you. Seven cross checks in the back? Or ten? How many is allowed? Yeah. I got seven. I just wonder how many is allowed. I can I can If I miss seven, I might as well quick, Cookie. Seven. Seven fucking cross checks I missed. Seven. I can dive to embellish it if you want. I just missed seven cross checks. I'm pretty fucking awful. And then Mike Rupp and John Erskine settle on a familiar route to attacking the tension head on. Oh boy, Erskine, a fucking wagon. The deteriorating ice makes for an increasingly unpredictable puck. But in net, Neither goaltender is sidetracked by the unusual conditions. There you go. Get in. Oh! Fuck! Yeah, let's get one here, man. We're all over them. Any game requires a variety of on-the-fly modifications. The soft ice of the Heinz Field rink means equipment adjustments will be particularly crucial tonight. Ice. Isn't great. We're shooting that puck. It's bouncing. 
Got to make sure it's getting back down low because a couple of their guys are we're leaving the zone and going for a breakaway if it doesn't get through. So be aware of that. With this ice, and we've all now we've faced it for 20 minutes here. You can't stick handle. I mean, it's it. We can't afford little chips these, and go, go by these guys on the boards here. You're getting by, and they're not turning well. When we shot the puck, uh, coming back to our point, they, a couple times they did leave the zone. Because when we've got the puck below the circles and we're winning the battles and we're getting the puck back to the point and we're getting opportunities and that's what we have to do. Right, they ran it, the D zone face off, they rimmed it every time, they rimmed it hard around. Right? Let's anticipate them doing the same thing again. Let's not run a D one timer on the dot, let's run a D run timer wide. On the power play, we want to get it to the point and we want to shoot. That's what opens everything up. We passed it and looking for the perfect shot. We're not going to score that way. Get it to the point. Don't get it blocked. If it's going to get blocked, you shoot it wide, and we do the same thing over again here. Keep hitting these guys. It's going north. A simpler game plan, Cooney. You're shooting the puck here. I sit will get an up. Sid will get a plus. He's going to the cage. All right. Second period here, gentlemen. Here we go, Blue. Come on here. Come on. But we're where we want to be. We held them to nothing here. Now it's our turn. Let's go after these guys. Come on. As the second period begins, rain starts to fall, further compromising an ice sheet already plagued by the warm temperatures. Both teams, however, continue to press ahead at full tilt in search of the game's opening score. Here we go, Aaron. Here comes Ovechkin, turned away by Flurry. Four minutes after the Pens draw first blood, the Capitals earn their second power play of the night. Go, Keeper! Oh, you're fucking lucky, baby. Two times, two times, baby. Great call. Stick on Park all the way. And this time, perseverance in front of the net proves to be the difference. And then, with five minutes to go in the period, a rare lapse by Marc Andre Fleury gives Washington another opening. Here's a chance for the Capitals, they score! The Capitals, with terrific pressure in the second period, have forged it. Inside or out, hockey goals often come in twos, but a quick Penguins equalizer. is immediately called off. It's a penalty! It's a no goal. Hey, it should be a penalty for fuck's sake. The Pens search for a final chance in the period's closing seconds. But it's what they don't see coming that hurts the most. Caps head to intermission with a lightness in their step. The pens are a contingent left battered and bleeding.
20 minutes of play remain. Keep everything deep. That's where we're having success. It's a grunt out fucking game tonight where we're going to have to win all those battles and we keep it deep. I just hit. Yeah, I don't remember what happened. I turned and I just got hit. I don't know. I didn't have the puck right Not a lot to talk about here. You got to get better in the neutral zone with the puck. We can't expect too much here. Got to have puck support and speed, and that thing has to go in. Get it in any way possible and go play in that zone and keep it there. That's how we got the power play there with Tessie's line. They're going to come at us full bore here. We have to protect the middle of the ice. We can always adjust to the board, but protect the middle of the ice all the time here. And get it deep and play with the same passion that you had. We got 20 more minutes to have a great game here. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring the puck, put it in your mouth, and get it in the blue paint. We have a guy there. Win a third period here at Heinz Field, gentlemen. Let's fucking get yeah. puck in here, get a fucking puck at the net, and let's fucking win this third period here. Let's go. Come on. Here. It's clear the rain is not going to stop. But in the stands and on the ice, no one at Heinz Field would take well to a delay. The elements have spoken, but the hockey will go on. Seven minutes in, the Caps botch a clearing attempt. Was it clean over the glass? I believe it was. Mike was it it over. No, I think it's straight over, Mike. Which means the Penguins will go back on the power play. But Semyon Varlamov, given the start in the capital net for the third straight game, has been sharp all night. And under attack once again, the 22-year-old Russian holds firm. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the ice, the friction is festering. I swear to God, slash me again. I'll take your teeth out, Nikki. Why are you mad at him? You're fucking too handed me there. You're fast, then. Oh, you're not going to call it. You're not going to call it either way. Just shut up, cookie. And then, another Varlamov save sets the Capitals in picture-perfect motion up the ice. It's a good play. So Jason Chimera will give it go with up the middle. Buoyed by the two-goal lead, the Washington captain's aggression only swells. Cut the fucking goalie! Cut the fucking goalie! Okay. I stay and I stop. I know. No goal. No goal. Goal. Either no goal or I give you a penalty. Okay? He can't get back in his net. All right? We're going there. Let's go, boys. Do it. But even after the Ovechkin goal is waved off, the Penn's chances to make up the deficit are dwindling. With less than a second left, the game's outcome is all but official. Still, after all the anticipation and build-up to the evening, Woo! plenty remains unsettled, and neither side seems willing to skate away. Every previous Winter Classic, the 
participating teams have shaken hands on the ice. Perhaps it's no surprise the pens and caps don't renew that piece of tradition. Make them come to us. We'll sit here. Yeah. Not the cup, but it feels pretty fucking good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not how we wanted it to be. You know, it was a uh, tough sledding out there, and you know, we couldn't get the bounces to go our way. We didn't play there enough, but we couldn't get them to go our way. But I know it, uh, uh, it was an awesome experience. Didn't get the result we wanted, but it still sucks losing. Fun to fucking win that one. When you guys want to play, you're as good or better than any team in the league, and you wanted to play tonight. And that was a great effort. Hey, the month didn't start off too well, but I think HBO brought us some luck and we're, we're ended pretty damn good here. Woo! The two points in the standings have been awarded to Washington. A fitting cap to an emotional four weeks for the team. Both teams know well, however, a more significant reality. 42 games remain in the season including two more meetings head-to-head. -head. And then, the enticing possibility of another best-of-seven clash in the Stanley Cup playoffs. On the grandest of stages, another chapter of hockey's most compelling rivalry has been written. But the full story is far from complete. Hockey won't hold still for a portrait. To gain a glimpse inside, you join it in progress. Just as players do. Jumping onto the ice for their shifts as the game swirls around them. On that ice, the action moves at high speeds. The punishment doled out can be staggering. And the very best in the world form bands of brothers as authentic as any in sports. Virtuoso talents alongside distinctive leaders, fearless combatants, and relentless competitors. They play with an intensity from another age, a passion invulnerable to cynicism, and an energy that embraces whatever the ice offers next. Through heights and depths, lengthy streaks and sudden turnarounds, and a spirited collision in the national spotlight, they have revealed a portrait of a season in progress. Yeah, good job, man. 
Rocky won't hold still to give you a better look. You wouldn't want it to anyway. It's the action that makes the possibilities endless. The next practice, the next city, and the next game await. If you missed any part of 24-7 Penguins Capitals Road to the NHL Winter Classic, you can watch all four episodes in their entirety Saturday, January 8th. Real Sports premieres January 25th with an all-NFL show, including a profile of Troy Aikman, a Hall of Fame quarterback now preparing to broadcast the Super Bowl. January 29th, World Championship Boxing returns with a matchup of top 140 pounders. Devin Alexander faces Timothy Bradley, live from the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.